This is the grade six math practice test for TN. Ready? Question number 20, at least on this edition. At a bake sale, plates of cookies, P, are sold for $5 each. So they've identified the plates as P here. Um, the amount of money from the sale of cookies is expressed as dollars. Which equation represents the earnings of the bake sale? A couple things to note here. First off, they're asking for an equation, so you better have an equal sign in it. And we have to think about what the relationships between cookies and dollars are. So we can buy multiple cookies, and it will lead us to dollars. So we'll probably put the D over here because it's the end result. That's what we end up with, right? The nature of any sort of function, which is what this will end up being, is that we can take the plates of cookies and enter them into the equation, and it would give us the matching uh, outputs. So if we were graphing these, we call them x and y. We may also refer to these as inputs, and these as outputs. So what we need to do is look at the relationship, like what do I have to do to get from here to here that is also able to get me from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. So let's take a look at some of the answer choices. I mean, you could see immediately what it is, right? Um, if I have one plate of cookies at $5, I do 1 times 5, and I get 5. And I do 2 plates of cookies, 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15. That's the relationship. It, there's no sort of fee extra like you don't have to pay a buy-in to get to buy cookies you just you buy some you get money you pay money that's it um so i'm going to look for sets down here we can still kind of mess with these here's the big issue that and that look a lot alike so you have to be very careful about what the input is and what the output is this says five times d will give me whatever the value for p is. So that would say 5 times 5 gives me 1. Well, we, we know that's not true. And if I did 5 times 10, it wouldn't give me 2, and 5 times 15, it wouldn't give me 3. So this one's out. Why would they put that there? That seems ridiculous. They're not being ridiculous. They're being deceiving. They're trying to, they know that most people will know immediately this is a multiplication question. So they put the one, they put the choice that has the variables out of order first, so you choose it. This is one of those questions that you don't have to be particularly smart to get it correct, but if you believe yourself to be smart, you're more likely to miss it because you won't pay attention, and if you're nervous a little bit about how you'll do on the test, I'm not saying weeping and feeling sick to your stomach, just nervous enough to say, like, I'm not perfect, you're not going to pick that answer because you'll realize immediately that, oh, well, that doesn't even make any sense, so that one would definitely be out. For this one, the p-value of 1 plus 5 gives you 6, but it should give me 5 um, if I put in 2. So 2 plus 5 is 7, uh, and not 10. 3, no, so that's out. Division, come on. 1 divided by 5 is 1 fifth. 2 fifths. 3 fifths. 4 fifths. None of those numbers even work over here, so that's out too. So the only one that actually works is D, because if I put the P values in, 5 of 1, and I'll actually do it up here, 5 of 1, 5 of 2, 5 of 3, 5 of 4. And they do, in fact, equal all the correct numbers that they're supposed to. So I input a value, and I get the expected output that I'm looking for. So this is the correct answer. The only thing difficult about this question is knowing the multiplication relationship immediately and then diving on the first one that has multiply. So anytime you have multiple choice, make sure that you check the other answers just to make sure you didn't pick the wrong one in a hurry because this is not a difficult question, but it's a super easy one to get wrong simply because you're in a hurry or you think, well, that's too easy and you just fly through it. The thing about this test is you want to do as well as possible just so you can let the state know that you know things. Well, if you know things but make careless mistakes, they think you don't know things, which is kind of a weird way to go about it. So be a little careful, and you'll get this one right uh, probably just by every time.